they find is about the recession. And I know a lot of you are going to go, no, 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 no. And a, a lot of you are probably going to go, why are you doing two rants on a Friday? The reason is because I didn't do one yesterday, so I'm doing two today. I was too busy yesterday to do a rant. And I do apologise. I did upload a little video saying that. Well, not actually saying it. I wrote it, but let's not go there. Okay. The recession now. I've heard a lot about the recession and it's awful and I uh, I've just got a rant about it basically I just need need to get this out okay so basically the recession was caused by too many people borrowing money because when people borrow money the lenders of that money either think, okay, awesome, we're going to lend them money and they're going to pay us back plus interest. Yay! Or lenders are thinking, well, they might not pay us back because they don't look the type to have a lot of money, but we'll lend it them anyway because that means that we can get bailiffs to their door and repossess their house and possessions and we'll still get our money in the end anyway so either way we win 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 and the borrower always loses okay and then they lent like loads and loads and loads of money now the way I'm trying to picture this is like a big massive jam jar um, about the size of a house okay and every time someone says right can I can I lend some money from you can I can I loan it yeah yeah and money is put into that jam jar and that money builds up and up and up and up and up over time and then all of a sudden it reaches the bim and it goes Pew! And the glass just shattered and the contents of the money that they've lent is just strewn everywhere right because that money should have been going down because people should have been being repossessed and should have been paying the money back naturally plus the interest so as the money's going up right it's also coming down because people are wanting to lend or loan the money, so that means that the money is going up because the the, bar, the the lenders are lending it. But it should also be going down because bailiffs are knocking on the door and saying, if you don't give me the money for whoever, we're going to repossess your house and all your possessions and we'll get the money anyway. Um... So that means that they would get money from them. Um, and then you've got the other people who are like, okay, I've got some money today. Um, I'll just uh, give this back to the people who lent me the £5,000 that I wanted. Um, so even if they give them a fiver, like £5 coins, just f five one pound coins just fall out of the jar because they've paid the money back but so that's like a consistent balance just up and down up and down okay but actually in effect what happened is this the lenders lent and the borrowers borrowed which is how they got their labels their titles but the lenders didn't do their job right in getting the borrowers to pay back so the borrowers just borrow more and more and more and more and can't pay it back and the bailiffs probably knock on the door and say right give me the five thousand pounds now that you lent plus the interest so they end up 
giving them nothing because they've got no money. So then the bailiffs will be possessed their house. But then their possessions in their house don't actually add up to the amount of £5,000, for example. And they end up only giving the lenders £2,000 or something, right? So then that goes down a little bit. But then someone probably says, right, let me fifty thousand pounds. I'll pay you back the extra person interest. So it shoots up again because there's five fifty thousand pounds that's been lent. And then finally, as I said, it goes to the top where there's so much money and they're all of a sudden do a and the glasses boop shatters and all the money goes everywhere. And all of a sudden the lenders are thinking, holy crap! What are we going to do now? And the boys are thinking, uh, okay. And they're just oblivious to, to it at that point. And then all of a sudden, whoo, we go down and we just plummet in a downward spiral. And the way I'm going to describe this is like um, a roller coaster, right? <clears throat> roller coaster climbs up and up and up in the hill up a hill and then all of a sudden it goes whoa and it goes down and everyone goes ah! right that is what the recession did because um <clears throat> we just went into this downturn just like the roller coaster and everyone's panicking because they're thinking oh my god oh my god the lenders are like um we we shouldn't lend anymore no 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 no, no. we're not gonna lend anymore and the boys are like uh we need to lend more money. We, we've got no money. Whoa. And, the, and the lenders are going, no, 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 we're not lending you any more money. No, no, go away, go go somewhere else. So everyone's going, ah, I need money. No, I'm not lending you the money. No. And the rest of the world suffers as well because, because right, the banks won't give mortgages out. People are getting scared because... They're thinking, oh crap, do I save my money in the bank or do I take my money out of the bank? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the end, they opt to keep their money in the bank because it's safer than stuffing it under your mattress and possibly getting burgled and having it stolen and not ever getting it back. In a bank, it is relatively safe. So then, no one's lending and no one's buying anything. So then... Everything just goes woo and just grinds to a halt. No car sales, no uh, no actual sales at all, except for essential things like milk and bread and eggs and everything you need to eat. Um, so then the banks think, okay. We got ourselves into this mess, but we're still not going to lend. So what we're going to do instead is allow the consumer to pick up the mess, so to, to, to rebuild the mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice interest rates so that people start buying things again because they're thinking, now, interest rate... Um, 1% is crap in the bank. I might as well take that out. And I'll stuff it under my mat. Oh, no, wait, I can't stuff it up my mat just because I might get burgled. So what else do I do with £100? Oh, I just spend the £100. Yeah. And then just race off to the shops. Oh, that's what everyone thought. But still, everyone's like, no, nope. 1% of interest. No, 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 not, not gonna, not gonna budge here. So they slice it again to 0.5%. Everyone's like, uh-oh. But they're still too scared to actually begin to buy anything. 